a very good evening everyone and a warm welcome to the hero 27 senior women's national football championship for the 22 23 season we are here for one last time the final between tamil nadu and haryana the live action coming to you straight from guru nanak stadium in amritsar what a long and brilliant tournament this has been we are just 90 minutes away from seeing a side walk away with the title these two sides an epitome of consistency throughout the tournament tamil nadu scoring freely at the front and defending with grit and determination haryana on the other side beating all the challenges making it to the final thus far and are a worthy opponents for tamil nadu who will come out as the victors on this monumental clash we're just moments away from finding out as both sets of players are eagerly waiting to get onto the pitch Tamil Nadu's performance has been flawless in the group stages. They haven't even considered a single goal. Demolitions of Karnataka and Punjab in the first and final games. It was sandwiched between three consecutive 3 0 victories against Odisha, Jharkhand, and Chandigarh. It does not get better than this when it comes to preparing for the knockouts, does it? Haryana, on the other side, have been a consistent side, but they have conceded goals in the last game as well against West Bengal. They were launched a stern comeback from Bengal and they drew 2-2. In the remaining games against Railways, they've come from behind to be the victory side. And then comfortable victories against Maharashtra, Himachal Pradesh and Manipur followed. Especially the 2-0 defeat of Manipur knocked the defending champions out. And now here is the moment both sets of players making their way onto the field. What a proud and joyous occasion it would be for them to make it to the final of the National Football Championship for senior women. Occasions don't get bigger than this. Both sets of players exchanging pleasantries. I'm very sure that this would only last till the first whistle is blown. The officials, Monica Jana is going to be the referee of the day. She will be assisted by a well and able team of Uvena Fernandez, Debala Devi Elangbam. Usha will be the fourth official today. We are awaiting the arrival of the chief guests, the delegations. It's a huge occasion, isn't it? Gurmeet Singh Hayer, Punjab's sports minister, the honorable minister for sports in Punjab. He's accompanied by Sri Kalyan Chobe, the AIFF All India Football Federation president, and Dr. Shaji Prabhakaran, the secretary general of AIFF. A huge occasion for the players. This will be a challenge they will embrace. Great performance here will not go unnoticed. It will help them get into the national side and do miracles for it. They are the superstars in making, aren't they? We're also joined by Mrs. Priya Tapa and Mr. S.P. Anand Kumar, Harpreet Sudan and Aditya Madan. The delegations getting to know the players and wishing them all the best for the final. Once again, I'd like to introduce you to the referee team. Monica Jana will be on the hot seat inside the field. Uena Fernandez, Debala Devi Ilangbam will be assisting her from the touchlines. And Usha will be the fourth official. Kimberly Miranda is going to oversee the game as the match commissioner. Captains gathering on the center circle. 
and i am your host pranav venkatesh most delighted to be here to be taking you through this epic finale we have in store for us both the captains there getting to know the do's and do nots from the referee ritu rani and durga from tamil nadu look at the grin on their face they are so happy they cannot wait for the for the full time for the beginning whistle to go off one final team talks as we have the lineups for you it is devi the captain and the goalkeeper in goal but it is durga who has made her way to the center circle she will be assisted in defense by lavanya kaushalya and pavitra the midfield is looking ever a strong indumati kathireshan the star name she has been the breakout performer for tamil nadu in the final round she will be assisted by sandhya ranganathan what a well rounded attack that is gokila as the coach is spoiled for choices and haryana indu sharma forced to make a single change that is to bench mona due to her injury but they have a brilliant core at the back shreya huda the victor from the penalty shootout against odisha in goal to be assisted by ritu rani the stalwart indian defender she has assistance from sharda parmila and ritu the midfield is strong as ever with santosh and samiksha the engines who will keep pressing the opponents forward and the forward line is well rounded up by rajini bala and renu rani the bench for both sides spoil for choices but the coaches will be forced to play their hands to roll the dice when the game doesn't go in their favor but for now we are so close to the opener in the finale setting up the formation asking to be pleasant and calm it is important to get that first pass away and it is going to be haryana with the kick off the referee getting a check from the sidelines and here we go in the final attacking from right to left of your screen in red and black are haryana and attacking from left to right of your screen in yellow and yellow are tamil nadu a loose pass early on a nerve jangling movement there for haryana shreya huda had to react quickly well you cannot even think of committing errors and even half errors against this dominant tamil nadu side it appeared it was an early opening but the referee raises her offside flag first offside of the day number 2 sharda for haryana will be taking it launch forward beating couple of players there it's a good dribble from tanu she's looking for options beating three tamil nadu players there goes the first shot of the day not so far off from the goal is it well great effort from rajini bala from outside the box she decided she can go for goal devi was worried in tamil nadu's goal post she would be glad to see it sail over positive start from haryana good skill there tamil nadu yet to launch a proper attack blocked it out of the haryana player well the game plan from haryana would be really simple just mark and keep indumati kathiresen out of play an absolute superstar she basically won the semi finals for tamil nadu on her own she played on a whole different level to the other 21 on the pitch with her driving runs creating goals forcing own goals and even scoring goals as well here is indumati trying to create chances durga will play the ball into the box the first header will go to the goalkeeper well when it comes to stars shreya huda is a star on her own isn't she 
making three consecutive saves in the penalty shootout against Odisha. It is just beyond marvelous. As the game was deadlocked at one each, we went to the penalties and Shreya Huda made three saves. It is an early threatening situation there. Parmila had to react. It will be a throw-in for Tamil Nadu. Good slide, showing nice temperament early on. Throw going into the box. Tamil Nadu keeping hold of the ball. And now here is a chance for Renu Rani to run. She will look for options. Well, under pressure gets the pass away. Tamil Nadu will cut it out. It is the captain in goal. And Durga with the most minutes for Tamil Nadu. 574 playing each and every minute of your side's games. We are closely followed by Malavika with 551 minutes under her belt. Another threatening long ball forward. They had to react. Ritu knocking it out. Tamil Nadu wasting no time in restarting the game. There goes a dangerous cross into the box. A tussle in the middle there. The referee waving play on. Samiksha trying to launch one searching ball down the flank. It looks like it did take deflection of a Tamil Nadu player, Haryana, to resume the play. Chaos out there. The ball heading out momentarily. Well, for Haryana, three players, the captain, Ritu Rani, the custodian, Shreya Huda, and the defensive, Lynchpin, Sharda, getting 580 minutes. With the short turnarounds, you have to appreciate their stamina. And the way they have kept themselves fit through the entirety of the tournament. Ball pinballed in the middle. Captain Ritu Rani dealing awkwardly with it. But she will win the header as well. Trying to swing it into the box. Ritu miss kicks it again. The captain usually very calm and controlled on this occasion. Just kicking the air instead of ball. It's a loose touch there from Sandhya. The ball just running away from her. A bit of a cautious start from both the sides. Not too eager to have a go at each other, are they? Neha trying to run away with the ball, but her pass will run out of room before Renu catches on to it. Both teams definitely didn't come out of the blocks firing on all cylinders today. They're just trying to measure each other's game. Trying to know the opponent before increasing the intensity of the game. You certainly expect these kind of cautious starts in finals. Nobody wants to go behind early on, do they? Getting to know the conditions and then increasing the intensity. Tamil Nadu's best performance has been a 7-0 route of Uttar Pradesh. Well, they were very fluent in scoring goals throughout the final round as well as the group stages as well. Free kick launched into the box. They're keeping it. Priya Darshini trying to find the spectacle on the turn. Just laced it. It will go out for a goal kick. They are taking the kick herself. Haryana, from the initial eye test, are winning the duels well. The midfielders are getting one up on the Tamil Nadu counterparts. Can they translate the midfield dominance into something meaningful in possession? Santosh trying to ride away from the tackles. 
Going a bit physical on her opponents there. Referee letting it slide. She will find a good pass to the number 20. Well, Rajni Bala's first effort was much better than this one, maybe. Bouncing in front of Devi and an easy save for the Tamil Nadu goalkeeper. Now here come Tamil Nadu in the middle of the pitch. They have options. Kartika seeking Sandhya on the wing. Cross into the middle. Sharda standing strong. And Samiksha trying to clear it. It will be a goal kick. Both sides appealing. Well, Tamil Nadu get it in their favour. It is going to be a corner. Shreya had the option of catching the ball, but she let it go, thinking it was of an opponent. But now, in the 8th minute, we have our first corner of the game. Kartika. We know how much of a threat Tamil Nadu possess from set pieces. Can they strike once again? Here goes the ball into the box, lofted too high. The goalkeeper misses it altogether. But Haryana in a better position to get it away. But they just cannot do it. Cross launched again by Malavika. Just a bit overhead. It will head out for a goal kick finally. Shreya put in a spot of bother there. She came out, missed the ball. Could have been in huge trouble. Had Tamil Nadu put forwards at the far post. Haryana's best performance was a 6-0 thumping of Sikkim. In the final round, they haven't been a hugely heavily scoring side. But they certainly do have goals in them. With Renurani up front. The young Indian forward who once scored famously 5 goals against Pakistan. In an 18-0 thumping at the under-21 level. Appealing for a foul but not getting it in their favour. Ritu with a throw in. Attempting to find Samiksha who plays a left footed ball forward. Well taken down by Renu Rani. Forwards were interested for a moment. Their eyes lit up. But Tamil Nadu's defence taking no chances as they clear the ball first time of asking. Good idea there from Renu. Trying to play in her co forwards. Especially Rajni Bala, already having two shots to her name. She's trying to make it third time lucky. Well, we haven't seen Tamil Nadu play on the break thus far, have we? It's a positive start, you have to say, from Haryana, restricting Tamil Nadu to a counter-attacking unit. And now there is Sandhya, trying to beat the full-backs. Here is the dangerous Sandhya again, good footwork from her. But Haryana's captain will meet it out. Renu snatching the ball away. Look at that pace and footwork. Tamil Nadu centre-back stepping out of defence to tackle Renu. She's such a strong runner with the ball. Kartika playing it inside towards Priya Darshini. Good drop of shoulder from her. And even finds the right pass to the left flank. Can she get the cross in? It should have been a better one. This one was straight into Shreya's arms. Haryana's goalkeeper won't complain if she gets all the crosses like that today. The midfield pressing slowly disappearing from Haryana. Tamil Nadu are trying to get a control in the middle of the park. Well, when it comes to the clean sheets, they are the undisputed top side. Five to their name. The first goal they considered was in the semi-finals. You truly have to appreciate the defence. Well marshalled by Durga and Lavanya in the middle. And the assistance they get from Kaushalya is just incredible. A tight it defensive unit. It will take some beating today from Haryana's forwards. Haryana aren't far away as well. They have maintained three clean sheets in the group stages. So don't discount them. They are marshalled by Ritu Rani, India's star centre-back. Oh. 
started off as a measured approach but both sides trying to get the shots away we are getting into the war zone slowly deflected from a tamil nadu player well to give some credit to the haryana defense we haven't seen much of indumati today have we in the early movements she has been anonymous the real task would be keeping a quiet for 90 minutes it's a good pinch from the defender but the forward pass is a stray one don't know who she was aiming with that pass needed to get her head up look for the runs a bit too eager in bringing the forwards Samiksha keeping it in trying to go long once again Devi comes out of goal has no problem since sweeping up Now that is a drop kick and a half look at the distance she got on the end of it Tamil Nadu's vertical progression has been very good and now a dangerous ball in It's a smart save from Shea as well but the flag was up anyways it wouldn't have counted What a slicing through ball that is cut through the defense Maybe just maybe the offside line took us to that chance Ritu would be hoping to win one or two free kicks in the opposition half Remember she has got two free kick goals to her name an incredible long ranger in the semi finals as well Lavanya kicking it out the first time of asking under pressure from Tannu Now a lovely ball released down the left flank. Haryana bit short at the back. Sandhya showing good footwork, but she goes for goal instead of trying to find the cross. Tucking in from the left onto her favorite right foot. The effort lacking power to beat Shreya from that distance. Tamil Nadu growing strongly into the game. Well for the entirety of the tournament they haven't played on the break much because they are the side that dominates possession. But today when Haryana are asking the questions they're responding well and now a cheap foul conceded. Renu Rani going down a great opportunity for Ritu to have a dangerous free kick swung into the box. she will be excited this is not far away from where she has scored in the semi final game will she be going for goal yet again here is ritu rani the effort hit the was it blocked by the wall no says the referee it is a goal kick a disappointing effort from ritu you have to say She didn't catch the ball well did she Lavanya with the goal kick The first ball won by Haryana but Tannu couldn't just get there in time to keep the ball in cannot pick a winner both the side still sticking to the same cautious approach one has to open up certainly we are approaching the end of the first quarter who will it be we need somebody to grab the game by the scruff of its neck and provide a magical moment both sides have the individual star quality tanu under a good duel from the number 14 pavitra and tamil nadu can come away with the ball 
Another ball released down the left flank. Now there, Sandhya looking for options, but unable to get away from Ritu Rani. Another attack stopped. Parmila giving the ball away. Here come Tamil Nadu. Couple of occasions, mistakes from Parmila. Now trying a lovely pass out to the right flank. Chance to play the reverse in. But Haryana can go the other way now with a successful pinch. Long ball forward, Renu. Complaining there, not getting anything from the referee. The play will go on. Haryana on the ball. Trying to hook it into the middle. What a first start that is from Renu. Tanu will go for goal. Just wide. She thought she could catch the goalkeeper out. Well, we are getting into that zone now. How about that for a first touch from Renu Rani? Calm and composed, completely trapping the ball, setting up for Tanu to shoot one from outside the box. Intercepted in the middle, but Tamil Nadu do have forces. Trying to play one lob ball through the middle. Now some more great footwork from Neha. Spinning away from the challenge. Tanu again, the pass cut out. Renu was making that dangerous run on the outside. Samiksha. Well, the technical prowess of Haryana players has been very good. They're using their footwork and skill work to beat Tamil Nadu players. But they're unable to find the final ball. Full credit to Tamil Nadu for anticipating their opponent's next move and not committing early to tackle them. Now again, Samiksha. Looking for options in the middle, but it's a poor cross at the end of it. Devi claiming it simply. They had only Renu in the middle. And Neha was making that run at the far post. Tamil Nadu. Trying to find the run in the left inside channel. They will get it back once again. Here is Indumati dropping deep. She's trying to make the play happen. A long shot from outside. Just lashes on to it. No direction or accuracy whatsoever. Tamil Nadu might benefit from keeping a bit of the ball in the middle of the park. Kunas to get the ball. Their first intention is to get a shot away. Holding on to it might do them a world of good. Sandhya Ranganathan appearing on the right flank tentatively. Well, remember she started the game on the left. Malavika Rob possession. Neha finds the ball to the center. Renu on it. Look at the physical tussle. Tamil Nadu not giving them any freebies. Committing into the tackles fully. And they have a turnover in the middle. Indumati's first touch. Possession dropped by Haryana. Now these are the sort of duels that Haryana are dominating in the middle. But finally Tamil Nadu get a foothold. But Indumati sadly cannot keep her balance. Now that's some powerful running from Santosh. But again, she is met by Pavitra. Front foot tackling has been exceptional from Tamil Nadu, anticipating the danger. Neha's cross into the middle. A chance for Malavika to get it away. Neha did well to get the ball there. Samiksha searcher. It will go in vain.
the coach giving instructions vociferously tamil nadu she is not impressed with what she is seeing from her players this isn't the usual tamil nadu that took to the field till the semis maybe the big game nerves are getting to them first time final for many of the players are they feeling the weight of the occasion on their backs another good passing move but again unable to penetrate into the back line of haryana devi under no hurry she will make the claim usually after tempting neha on to it and now a chance there for sandhya deep into the box but ritu gets a key block on it it is going to be another corner open play hasn't been there for day to day but at the end of the first quarter can tamil nadu strike from a set piece malavika making a way to the corner flag for the second corner for tamil nadu it is going to be an out swinging delivery here is malavika met at the near post well knock but there was nobody attacking the far post there a good header it wasn't goal bound but it certainly gave chance for someone to attack it at the far post haryana getting their homework right marking the right players from tamil nadu not letting them win the ball easily from set pieces now that's a good touch from malavika she will see the center backs as they look to recycle the attack long ball played from durga haryana will just let it out for a goal kick thirty five goals from tamil nadu their opponents haryana not far behind them as well with 23 to their name who will be there adding another hopeful long fall forward both sides looking to surpass the midfield and find the forwards directly from the back not in their most comfortable element are they another duel dominated by haryana tamil nadu's midfield must wake up they must keep winning the first balls and second balls it might come back to hurt them kartika with another attempt now the flag goes up the defense knew what they were doing completely holding the line ritu rani marshaling her troops well to assessing her options it's a good win from malavika but unable to keep possession samiksha will resume the play with the haryana throw in going long to find renu the idea was good but the execution wasn't so santosh getting it into the middle chaos but the communication was on top between durga and devi because there was neha trying to sneak in between them and steal the ball kartika trying to find the diagonal great first touch from tanu she gets on the end of it here is neha on the left flank 1v1 with the full back can she beat her good burst first time and even the second time gets the cross into the middle the goalkeeper spills it it is a good hand you have to say and samiksha shot from the right flank will just go out for a goal kick the crowd getting into the game devi got sufficient hand on it made sure she spilled it 
at least towards the edge of the box putting samiksha in a soup there and she opted to shoot it will be a goal kick for tamil nadu and the players will just take a short break a cooling break it is a must with how the game is going we started the tournament we started the final round especially in bright sunshine but the heavens opened up almost entirety of the games being rained out and impacted due to rain in some extent but today we have the beautiful golden amritsari sun shining on us and with it bringing incessant heat the players allowed to take a cooling break and here are the fans cheering for their favorite side with enthusiasm tamil nadu's bench looking on nervously there is an air of anxiety inside the pitch and on the bench very visible it is never easy to play your best game in the final the mental block will always be there won't it hindu shama also getting awards to go forward and express themselves freely their forwards have had some moments with their skill and drill but not able to find the final ball here is santosh under no pressure but she just lets the ball slide away from a control and can see it's an unnecessary throw into tamil nadu renu couldn't trap it successfully but there is some confusion and she will get on the end of it the play gets halted did she use her arm will tamil nadu get away with a bullet the center back failing to clear it renu with a blistering pace got on the end of it but she just used her arm to control it first time well a lucky escape for tamil nadu trying to keep the ball they have options in the middle malavika is completely inverting inside it is often leaving tamil nadu with three at the back and they have only conceded one goal look at their dominance with just three at the back malavika from right back inverting into that midfield role to provide an additional body coach has definitely implemented it on spot trying to win a footing in the midfield tackle well won by malavika but here is tanu on the far post going for goal the goalkeeper making a confident save at a near post drill shot on the ground she had the angle covered didn't let the awkward bounce affect her concentration smart save from devi now what a touch that is from sandhya but santosh using a physicality to win the ball great challenge that tanu getting instructions from the sidelines unable to make her mind up the left back alert sweeping up first time a skewed clearance malavika gets the ball stolen from her santosh at the base of the defense will seek samiksha trying to hook the cross in not the best of the options there renu was making her run but you needed something special to beat the defense half an hour into the game both sides opening up finally haryana for the defensive acumen haven't conceded a single goal in group stages what a feat for them and 
the drop kick intercepted in middle tamil nadu on it indumati malavika looking for options again another wasted opportunity she's being asked to dribble into the opponent's defense by her coach asking a player to dribble into the space available but a weird pass selection there from malavika leading to a haryana goal kick well this is certainly where the big game pressure comes do you think that you have to be more direct in your approach to get the result indumati dropping deep but a first touch will be cleared by haryana neha on the end of it trying to bring renu into play but a good interception there well if you followed tamil nadu's previous matches their decision making was a thousand percent better than this they knew where to find the passes their runners were on top on this occasion just the occasion getting to them a bit overwhelming for them can they shake it off in the second half into the final 10 minutes of the first half now now santosh again the good skill work not supported by the pass here is indumati will find the pass to the right wing sandhya gets the cross in the goalkeeper under pressure she's very smart there claiming for a foul but she does make the catch comfortably priyadarshini from the midfield a late run into the box ritu under pressure had to get it away Now Ritu missing her opportunity striking for goal Indumati claiming for a deflection Well she does get it in her favor it is going to be a corner for Tamil Nadu Well very rare lapses of concentration from Ritu It is the second or third time she has missed the ball and kicked the air Malavika tried to find the near post flick last time what will she do hit into the middle needed a better connection than that it was a free header in the middle Haryana's markers failing to pick her up huge chance wasted for Tamil Nadu Santosh calmly finding the pass to Parmila who is allowed to drive forward with the ball <coughs> attempting to seek Renu such a good first touch and some good skill to complement it the attack will be kept alive by Samiksha again going for the early cross i'm not understanding the tendency to fire the balls early into the box the teams must generally focus on trying to build through the center play some quick incisive passes under hit pass tamil nadu very lucky to keep it but the commentator strike it is haryana on the end of it renu with another smart touch her link up play has been exquisite but she needs something better than that she needs some service into the box trying to keep the ball in sandhya ranganathan runs out of room with her back to goal renu rani has been a revelation her first touches using a physicality look at this just another example of how well she is doing to win the ball and drive with it forward but she would not be happy in that role and tamil nadu have a great chance going for goal but again 
An eye on goal. The goalkeeper was on her line. You needed something special to beat her. Shreya, especially buoyed by the fact that she saved three penalties in the semi-finals. It feels like nothing in the world could beat her right now. Her aura just there for the showing. Speaking about Haryana's forward play, they have to bring Renu Rani into the game more. They should play some balls in behind the defence. Release her into the space. Not utilising her properly at the moment, are they? Priya Darshini, a constant dynamo for Tamil Nadu. Running the show from the middle. Malavika again inverting. Well taken there by Sandhya going down under pressure from Ritu. Looks to the referee in the hope of getting something. Well, it was very minimal contact, not enough to give a penalty. The Indian centre back knowing her limits inside the box and commits the challenge within the legality of the game. Chance to hook it in, deflected out. Haryana can keep the ball for themselves. Beg your pardon, Tamil Nadu. Malavika with the inside of a foot. First had a well one, the number 30 going for goal. It is kept in on the left flank by Indumati. Trying to find the cross. Still Tamil Nadu. A good spell from them. Can they keep up the good work? Malavika. Tries to slice it into the box. Shreya Huda sees it coming from a long distance. Makes the easy save. Now again, under pressure. Renu entering the box. Trying to fake shot first time. But Lavanya not falling for her tricks. Good one versus one defending that from the Tamil Nadu centre-back. Well, they always say, mirror your opponent. If you are a centre-back marking a striker, don't make the first move. Give your opponent the room to make the first move and then commit yourselves. Textbook defending this from Lavanya. A chance for Haryana's number 7, Santosh, to swing the corner in. Their first one of the game. Can they strike with it? A good delivery met by Renu and is cleared sufficiently by Tamil Nadu. A foul committed inside the box. A chance to get a breather. The pendulum of momentum is swinging from side to side. Both sides in the game at the moment. Now that's a rash miss kick from Rajni Bala. Tamil Nadu able to come forward. Here is Sandhya. Pardon me. Well, from a threatening situation, nothing comes out of it. It is going to be a Haryana throw in. Vitra winning and pumping it forward only as far as Haryana's defenders. Another aerial duel for them to deal with. Well, it has been their kryptonite. Haryana lobbing the ball every time they get the chance. The first and second ball duel winning percentage has been very less for Tamil Nadu. They are hoping Renu can get on the end of one and flick someone into space. Santosh going to the touchline, trying to beat her markers. She gets the cross through the legs. It just goes out for a goal kick. Good intent there from the midfielder. Using a short straight to beat her markers and then getting the cross in. Well, approaching the 45-minute mark, not much to choose between both the sides.
Another long ball forward. Ritu has no problems dealing with it. The ball pin ball between defense to defense. Samiksha double teamed. And Tamil Nadu will come away with the ball. Here is Malavika. Spreading it to the right. Sandhya slips it to the channel. Ritu reading it well again. And Haryana can clear the lines. Very eager to get the game started. Well, Malavika ends up losing possession on that occasion. A good flick on. Priyadarshini trying a step over there. But she cannot create room. A pass intercepted. Santosh. She has done that so many times. But on this occasion gives the ball away. Cannot get away from the defense. Indumati. Looking for options. On her left foot. Spreading it to the middle. Indumati again. A lovely cushion pass into the box. Priyadarshini. Unable to catch it. What a pass that was from Indumati. Slipping it behind the defense onto the left flank. Priyadarshini couldn't catch it first time and Haryana can break now. Played into the middle, missed there, goalkeeper coming out. She had to do it. Perfect intervention. Neha was very much threatening at the far post. Well, with Malavika inverting into the middle, Durga, the centre-back, is drawn more and more towards their right flank. It is going to be a couple of minutes of added time. To be honest, there haven't been many stoppages in this half. Both sides focusing on keeping the ball in the centre and playing as much as possible. Now that's a better touch from Indumati. Can she provide some magic on the stroke of the half-time? Slipping a lovely ball into the middle. Ritu gets drawn to it. But the offside flag goes up, doesn't it? The defence saw it well and early. They're maintaining a perfect line. In complete coordination. Ritu taking a time with a free kick. Well headed in the middle by Malavika. But Tanu will get on the end of it. Can she beat a marker? Burst of pace but Pavitra. Still there. Tanu gets the cross in yet. And there is a Renu Rani chance. But what a save from Devi. She got the header didn't she? A left footed cross played in. Renu got something on it. But Devi anticipated it earlier. And makes the comfortable save but injures herself in the process. The Tamil Nadu captain down in some pain. Requiring medical assistance on the pitch. Well, it's a brave attempt. Definitely saving a certain goal. Renu flicked it towards goal. But the goalkeeper came flying out. Injuring herself. But it looks like she is alright. The goalkeeper, a key player for Tamil Nadu. Her confidence sweeping from the back. Adds another dimension to their game. Early danger early on and restart attacks. She is alright. A sigh of relief for the Tamil Nadu coach and fans. Now this is what we were talking about. What a kick that is. And a brilliant touch from Sandhya as well. Malavika tries to play it into the centre. Just a bit overhit. Team of the day for Tamil Nadu and Haryana midfielders. Not able to wait their passes perfectly. And there goes the half-time whistle. 
nothing much to separate these sides in a state of equilibrium after 45 minutes nil nil at amritsar at the gurunanak stadium both the sides started the game with an air of caution it took until the 20th minute to open up but even then just the occasion overwhelming both the sides couple of heavy passes and nearby misses especially renu rani's header in the injury time should have been a certain goal if not for devi's heroics coming out from the back at the other end shreya huda relatively untroubled after a penalty shootout heroics in the previous game who will be the magical winner in the final in the second half we will find out shortly after a break well this tells you very little to choose between both the sides possession evenly dominated a 50 50 clash ball won and lost in the midfield identical figures in shots as well especially if you look at the expected goals aspect both sides would be on the lower spectrums of a single goal well thankfully the final hasn't provided many fouls especially dangerous ones we are in for a clean game let us hope that the quality goes up in the second half and both sides come out with some more attacking intent join us on the other side of this short break
well welcome back to the second half action from wherever you are tamil nadu making their way onto the pitch very early breaking in for a huddle they are determined to win aren't they making that extra minute count getting the team talk earlier the coach's message clear in their heads a substitution for tamil nadu at half time well well will this be the game changer is this the substitution that wins them the game nandini brought on for sandhya well these are the kind of inspirational substitutions that will swing the game in your favor tamil nadu's coach she clearly wasn't satisfied with the output in the first half letting the players know even making a change will this come to their good and we kick off in the second half for one last time during the tournament attacking from right to left of your screen in all yellow or tamil nadu and attacking from left to right of your screen in red and black or haryana an early throw and tussle going on between both the sets of players haryana have it in their favor Santosh hooking it forward. Renu Rani the target as usual. Parmila coming forward to take the throw. Well, you have to say one thing. Both sides star forwards Renu Rani and Indumathi Kathireshan. had relatively quite a halves the more they get involved in the game the more attacking thirst we will have from both the sides isn't it the substitute nandini getting a feel of the ball now well spread towards the right wing from kartika sandhya ranganathan dispossessed in a tame manner the pass down the wing just goes out it will be possession in tamil nadu's favor through a throw in santosh again running away with it trying to release tannu another overhead pass the story of the day we saw it in the first half so many times searching balls over the top long balls everything was over hit or either under hit they have to get the passes right great footwork from samiksha but one defender proves too many for her and now an effort to release sandhya she has indumati in the middle there goes the cross the number 4 parmela getting a crucial header on it Well no it looks like it did come off the Tamil Nadu player Tamil Nadu won the national football championship in the 2017-18 season by ending the Manipuri dominance and now they have another chance to lift the title 5 years afterwards Remember Manipur have been the incredible champions of this tournament they were on a three peat before Haryana have knocked them out in the group stages itself we had a chance to see a new champion ritu rani's awkward touch will go out for a corner 
all four teams that made to the semi finals were bustling with joy it is tamil nadu and haryana the initial group toppers in the final round we are having in the finals it will be the first ever title win for haryana if they do go on to lift the title but first things first they have to defend the set piece fourth corner for tamil nadu malavika with yet another chance to break the deadlock she goes for a fizzed cross just go straight out of play a poor effort you have to say was she eyeing for goal sharda's kick out from the back blocked it out for yet another goal kick riturani it looks like she hit the pass shot but samiksha will rescue her good interception by tamil nadu in the middle attempt to launch it forward red wall by ritu overloading the midfield kartika driving forward but ritu and santosh team up to snatch the possession away from her and now tannu can run good first touch from her trying to release renu but some great defending incredible defending but even after that renu is on the ball there goes the pass it is to be tapped in over the line and it is tapped over the line neha with the opener or renu rani is celebrating it was there no deflection but it doesn't matter haryana take the lead flying down the wing well what a start this is to the second half from haryana tamil nadu broken down so simply full credit to renu rani she got the cross in well it might be an own goal or did neha get a final touch on it they just wouldn't care for personal glory haryana have the all important opener it is renu rani the main striker for haryana making the damage tamil nadu center back unable to sort of feet diverting the cross towards her own net well 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 tamil nadu are they stumbling on the final step of the such a dominant tournament do they have what it takes to find an equalizer well here is a very very interesting stat for you tamil nadu have conceded only a single goal in the tournament and even that was a consolation in the previous game against railways which means they haven't conceded first and they haven't won any games so this is a huge test of their character conceding first in the final now it's a chance for indumati trying to curl one into the top corner shreya makes an incredible save and clears it later well that should have been some immediate response a lovely curler from indumati shreya getting a nice touch on it and haryana win a free kick down the other end in a flash this is some start to the second half the kind of action we wanted to see ritu rani coming forward the captain scored from a similar now she is down through the middle can ritu rani double haryana advantage here she is going for goal with power just over the crossbar there is only one thing on her mind it will be to make the net bulge now again neha down the left flank couldn't keep it in tamil nadu have to strike back there is no other option for them now claims for a handball the referee turning it down but she will finally acknowledge it samiksha using her arm on the ball there 
they will turn to the bench haryana rajni pala withdrawn for aarti getting an extra midfielder for a forward well he's the coach indu sharma trying to be too pragmatic too soon the attitude of sit back rarely works well in a game of this magnitude here is indumati running the channel but she is shielded out there is the confirmation of the substitution aarti coming on for rajni bala but talk about the chaotic situations in which the opener came if this is the if this is the goal that settles this tournament it would be so cruel on tamil nadu and they're going for the kill aren't they withdrawing durga the center back for shanmuga priya shashi kumar a bold call from the coach replacing a veteran defender maybe durga's inability to deal with neha's pace forces her to make the change both the camps hurriedly making the substitutions tamil nadu meanwhile win another corner they have been a dominant force throughout the tournament it will be heartbreaking if they go down in this manner without a fight in the finals credit to the haryana defense for stepping up it is going to be a free kick on the right flank fizzed in the goalkeeper misses it first time thankfully her defender gets a crucial header on it she was interested she was in that half the way and then pulled out another chance goes begging it takes a deflection and goes out for a corner another cross going in the header on target this time and it is the equalizer tamil nadu hit back from the set piece the lead not even lasting for 10 minutes and what a response it is the substitute nandini getting the delivery in haryana not picking up the headers in the box and a superb downward header beating everyone in the box well shreya was blocked on the line she couldn't get across in time and tamil nadu have their equalizer well the final coming to life in the second half a brilliant header and this is the tamil nadu we know making use of the set pieces getting the crucial goals wow now we are set up for a proper finale both the sides having a taste of what scoring a goal feels like the final 35 minutes there will be some more goals yet i can assure you that nandini assisting the all important equalizer for tamil nadu the substitute the game changer haryana driving out on a counter here is neha getting the cross in the goalkeeper blocked renu rani it is a foul there renu committing herself heavily onto the goalkeeper shanmuga priya well it might be true the reason for the withdrawal of durga shanmuga priya's pace needed to deal better with neha wins the duel but there is a throw at the end of it a 
confusion between both the players. It will come to Samiksha, but Tamil Nadu break it down. Can they emerge on a counter? Quick free kick taken. Indumati coming and the goalkeeper coming out as well. The flag going up. Both the sides now completely increasing the tempo. Don't take your t heads away. Ritu Rani will take the subsequent free kick. But she knows her defence has to be calmed down. They haven't dealt with the set piece well. And here is an injury concern. Shreya Huda going down, clutching her, her hamstring. Some discomfort in her knee. Well, a huge, huge movement in this final potentially. Haryana's goalkeeper Shreya Huda going down. They will be sweating on the fitness update of their goalkeeper. Tamil Nadu weren't behind for long. They aren't accustomed to concede goals, are they? But when they did, what a reaction it was. From the set piece, a lovely ball floated in and the header was right on target. The goalkeeper's fitness is of paramount importance to Haryana. They cannot afford to lose her, especially with penalties just over the horizon. Remember, we go straight to the penalty shootout if there is no separating these sides after 90 minutes. It happened in the previous semi-final for Haryana. Thanks to Shreya Huda's incredible saves. They came out as the winners and now it is a chance for Tanu against the goalkeeper. It's an incredible miss. The ball not trapped by anyone. Going all the way, she had to do better. Yes, it was great pressure from Sandhya. But she had to connect better. Tells you how close this game is. You cannot let your concentration levels drop. Priyadarshini on the left half space. Gets the ball pinched by Samiksha. Tanu locked in a duel. Well, it was a great chance for Tanu. She would want it again, wouldn't she? Cleared out by Pavitra. Lavanya imposing herself on Renu. Well, the two star players still out of the game. Two goals scored, but their name's not on the score sheet yet. Ball pinched, but Haryana keep it yet. Tanu dispossessed. Santosh sweeping up to win the possession back through a deflection. Well, how good she has been sitting at the base of the defence, sweeping up every loose ball, breaking down so many attacks of Tamil Nadu. Santosh is a potential contender for most valuable player of the final. Ball lob forward. The final touch again coming of Pavitra. Parmila trying to keep it in. It is an awkward situation. Ritu Rani having to clear it. Pumping the ball forward. It is coming to Tamil Nadu yet again. Indumati dropping deep. The captain Ritu won't birds that easily. You have to do something special to beat her. Here is Indumati. Laying it off to Kartika. There goes the long ball forward. Renu again. Trying to drop across. She couldn't help a side keep the possession.
Tamil Nadu winning a string of throw-ins down that right flank. A good duel, Tamil Nadu coming out on top. But the cross stopped inside the box by Ritu Rani easily. Santosh will lay it out wide to Samiksha. Tries to chop it into the middle. Tanu couldn't trap it. Parmila's throw in. Well under control by Priyadarshini. That's a rash tackle from Parmila. But she did get the ball. A saving grace for her. She was beaten on the turn. Desperate effort to bring it in. But it's a good tackle at the end. Another searching ball. There is Ritu once again. How many times I have said this. Probably losing count. Such has been the brilliance of the Haryana captain. A rock in the middle. Indumati trying to drop deep. Flicked on by Samiksha. Santosh's flick. Another long ball going forward. Both the sides pinballed in Haryana's half. Not looking good for Haryana. They have to keep or clear their lines at least. Well, it is a relief. Shreya is moving without any relative discomfort. She's jogging and claiming the ball nice and easy. We'll kick it out straight though. An opportunity for Haryana to progress. They have been pinned in their own half. Pressure building on them. Shreya interested in taking the kick long. Well, that beats everyone and goes to Renu Rani. Lavanya is not giving her a moment's peace, following her till the center line and making the challenge. She is not enjoying this, is she? But what about that commitment from Lavanya sticking to Renu? The instructions clear as day. Don't let your marker go. She's following her everywhere. Another duel won by Ritu. Raised boot there. Haryana winning the free kick for an offside offence. Pardon me. The captain will have the chance to pump it forward again. There goes the long searching ball. Renu interested in it only for a moment. Parmila Stash, a crucial one. But Indumati, look at the pace. Sharda going down within the loss of the game. Here is Sandhya on the turn. Unable to catch the ball. She was off balance. Lost her footing. Renu muzzled out of another duel. How about that for a burst of pace from Indumati Kathiresan? Well, she gave Sharda a good 10 yard head start, but caught up so nicely with a strong running power. Slightly boiling over Nandini. 
just as Haryana were about to take the free kick. Through the halfway line, Sharda is the favorite to take it. Launching it forward, Tamil Nadu had to win that aerial duel and they do do it with comfort. Indumati looking for options, trying to release someone. But Sharda, staying deep beyond the offside line, makes the clearance calmly. Another heavy touch. Well, pretty much looking like the first half. Both sides playing with a touch of caution. Chance for Tamil Nadu to get the cross in. A left-footed effort. The ball going round and round. Priya Darshini with a scorpion kick. Played in by Pavitra. Kartika will drive it forward to Indumati. Haryana have a player down. It is the captain Ritu Rani. Tamil Nadu are playing on. There goes the shot. A chance to make it two from close range. Priya Darshini kicks the volley high and wide. Haryana's captain is down on the ground. Well, this is a serious concern for them. She has been a rock at the back. And she is the one who marshals and holds the back line together. Well, the goalkeeper Shreya is requesting for a substitution. We have another injury concern on the field. The high intensity football taking a toll on the Haryana team. Couple of players down. T is the number 5 Ritu requiring treatment as well. Ritu Rani heading on to the touch lines for treatment temporarily. Haryana will be down to 10. This is such a great opportunity for Tamil Nadu. But I don't think they would be very happy if they do score the winner with numerical advantage. Haryana have to weather the storm without their lighthouse at the back. How will they fare? She's eager to get on. She is getting on. Even with just half of a treatment done. Malavika's pass cut out. Tamil Nadu. Growing in stature. Substitution for Haryana. Ritu withdrawn there. She just cannot continue. And it is Varshika making her way onto the pitch. But I think they'll breathe a sigh of relief knowing that the captain, Ritu Rani, is good to go. Because they need her for the final 18 minutes. If they are to hold Tamil Nadu down and force a penalty shootout in the game. Another chance to get a dangerous delivery in. A lovely kick taken straight at the goalkeeper. She drops it. But eventually gets on the end of it. Shreya Huda. A heart in mouth moment for the entire Haryana team. But the custodian very casually runs and picks it up. Sharda on the goal kick duties. They're not allowing Ritu to force herself. She might be playing through an injury. Well, that is the determination and the fighting spirit you love to see from your players. The captain 
not giving up yet. Tamil Nadu are enjoying a sustained period of possession in the opponent's half. Can they get something tangible? Well, we are going to have one final cooling break of the tournament. Credit to the players for giving the 100% in the blazing sun. It has been difficult with such short turnarounds, playing in different conditions. There was rain, they played in rain a couple of days ago and now it is sun firing on all cylinders. They need this cooling break desperately and also a chance for the coach to get her words across. Now Indumati turning away from the challenges but Sharda stands firm in her way. Lavanya will get it forward to Kartika. Aishwarya on the wing. She has so many tricks in her bag. It is a good chance to get the shot away. There is Aishwarya. Just above the crossbar. Had Shreya worried. A good attempt on her right foot gave her the laces. The goalkeeper was certainly worried there. The final 15 minutes of the game. Do we have a winner in it? You just cannot call this game yet. But Tamil Nadu are slightly going towards the favourites tag. Remember, they even started the game as favourites. Incredible force throughout the tournament. Haryana have battled, they won all the battles and are providing a stern resistance in the final as well. They even took the lead but weren't able to defend it for long. Kartika chopping in onto her right foot, trying to find the pass into the middle, gets intercepted. Neha dropping deep. Another wasted attempt at finding Renu Rani. She's getting frustrated by the lack of opportunities. She's having very few touches. One of those rarest off games for her. And now it's a chance for them to run at the defense. It will fall to Tanu. But the number 14, Pavitra, is there to clear the threat all day long. A top defensive display from Tamil Nadu. And it is a throw in their favor. The final touch was of Tanu. There is a foul in the process. Tamil Nadu can start slowly. But they do not want the game to be slowed down. Lavan yards it long. Parmila with a firm header to repel it. Neha just tries to shoulder it to Renu. Attempt in vain. in the middle by Kartika. A searching ball towards the left flank. It will be a challenge for Aishwarya to keep it in. She will eventually run out of room. Full credit to Kartika. She is playing that destroyer role in the middle. The number of times she has swept up the ball. In fact, in a game with very few chances, you have to wonder why. Because the midfield is standing firm for both the sides. Santosh for Haryana and her counterpart on the other end. Kartika for Tamil Nadu. Defensive linchpins screening the defense on their own. There is a chance for Renu, but she gets beaten in the air once and twice. 
She will hold it. Some good footwork. Tanu sliding away. And now in a crossing position. The cross. Did it take a deflection? No, says the referee. Good ball control from Tanu. Moving away from the challenge. But there was another marker. Approaching the final 10 before the penalty shootout. Remember, there are no two periods of added time. We head straight to the penalties. If the deadlock is not broken past the 90 minutes and the injury time. Sandhya going down. It will be a free kick for Tamil Nadu. The substitute standing in the path of Kartika's free kick. Will allow Haryana to get numbers behind the ball. Attempted free kick. Well cleared by Haryana. Again, ball being tussled in the middle. Haryana getting a throw in their favor. Can they find a sucker punch late in the game? There are tiring legs on the pitch. 80 minutes of exhausting football the concentration levels and the fitness levels will be put to the sword have a good touch allowing samiksha to get the ball forward renu does trap it but she couldn't find Neha. It was a simple pass. Tried to loft it from the half space to the flank. Haryana are having those half chances. Tanu on this occasion winning the ball from the back. But Indumati will keep it. Aishwarya slides it to the middle. The sliding tackle had to be on mark. The referee. I stopped the play and it's a penalty for Tamil Nadu. Well, she deems the tackle from Parmila is a harsh one. She didn't get the ball enough, did she? And Tamil Nadu have a chance to win the game. A more pressing concern. Indumati is down in the box for them. Well, well, well. A slide rule pass from Aishwarya into the box. Parmila sliding in from behind. Catches Aishwarya who goes down. Now it is the best chance for Tamil Nadu. Indumati is back on her feet. Can the Indian forward seal the deal? Remember Shreya Huda brought her side to the semi-final single-handedly with three penalty saves. But can she step up when it matters the most in the final? Here is one superstar versus the another. Indumati. Was Shreya? Who will come on top? We have the go-ahead now. Indumati from the spot gives Tamil Nadu the lead. This might just turn out to be the winner and the number 29 from Tamil Nadu. The star Indian midfielder celebrates the goal with the teammates. A calm and controlled penalty. Sliding it down the right flank. Finds the bottom corner with aplomb. Well, she is overjoyed, isn't she? Shreya Huda going down the wrong end. The goalkeeper who saved three penalties in the shootout cannot get a hand to it. And Tamil Nadu are moments away from clinching the title. Their second title in five years. Well, well, Parmila's moment of madness.
Haryana heavily in the Mati Katiresan. The superstar finding her ninth goal of the final round. Well, she was on the... There goes a goal, attempt at goal from kickoff. And Devi makes the save. Well, do we have another twist now? An attempt on goal straight from kickoff. Well, well, well. The finale is going to be a blockbuster one. Haryana have no choice except to throw everybody forward. Renu cannot get away from Pavitra. Indumati. She's having that swagger now. Dropping deep. Their first aim would be keep the possession. And the greater the possession in the enemy half, the better. Striya forced to come out and clear. Well, well, when Indumati stepped up, she definitely knew that Shreya is a star from the spot. And she had to be at her best to beat the goalkeeper. She gave goalkeeper the eyes and went down the bottom right corner. Her ninth goal of the final round tells you how much she has created an impact for the Tamil Nadu side. She was on the periphery today. Not enjoying her best game thus far. But it was one chance, one slide rule pass. She got on the end of it. Drew the foul, drew the penalty. And converted it herself. She is a star capable of winning any sort of game. Mind you, Haryana have a similar star at the other end as well. But Ray Nurani is still looking for that one opportunity. Will she get one to equalize the game? Haryana, are they letting their first NFC title slide away from them after taking the lead? Well, I'd also like to remind you, it is Tamil Nadu who have completed the comeback. After conceding early on in the second half, they equalized. And it is the first time they've come from behind in this tournament. Successfully. Successful at the first time of asking, you have to say. Equalizer from a corner and then the winner from 12 yards. This is exactly how Tamil Nadu would have imagined the final few minutes to go after taking the lead. The referee giving the foul, Haryana imploding, just letting their frustration show. A rash tackle from Tannu, completely unnecessary. They will be in no hurry now. Slow down the game as much as possible. Run to the corner flag, keep hold of the ball. They're just minutes away from clinching another NFC title. Lavanya to swing this into the box. It's played into no player zone. Haryana will shield it out. Where are we seeing them throw everybody forward? Ritu's kick out. Samiksha pummels it forward. Pavitra coming on top of the duel. Kartika sides it forward. Only one where. For Tamil Nadu. Ritu not happy with something. Letting the official know. And they smartly win another foul. Indumati herself. Near the corner flag. Gets there. Uses her body to shield the ball. Haryana. A crumbling. It must be shocking for them. To punch about their weight. Come till the final. And in the final. Taking the lead as well. 
but not able to maintain it against the hot favorites Tamil Nadu. Shreya gets a key hand across. Or did she? It looked like the goalkeeper did get a fingertips on it. Tamil Nadu just crowding them out. Kartika winning another foul. Things heating up. Samiksha out of frustration. Malavika will want the free kick into the final minute of normal time. Tamil Nadu are right where they want to be. Parked deep in the opposition half on a set piece, wasting as much time as possible. This is tough of dreams for them. Now they are committing so many bodies forward. Malavika will go for goal. It is a comfortable catch for Shreya. She has to release it quick. She has no other options. Going long from behind. Well intercepted in the middle. Tamil Nadu's defense has been sensational. Take nothing away from them. Shreya with another chance. Haryana. Not making good use of the possession. Here is Parmila. It is going to be 4 minutes of added time. Haryana have 240 seconds to get something out of this game. And stay in the competition alive. But Tamil Nadu are just 240 seconds away from the NFC glory. Trying to find the right winger. But there is Renu. Can she provide some magic? Samiksha. Cannot beat Pavitra. Look at the duel there. They're still alive. Neha on the ball. Cannot get it past the midfielder. Anywhere would do for Tamil Nadu. Another pass cut out. Samiksha. Trying to go long again. They have no other options. The defender will clear. Three minutes from the full time whistle. Parmila urging everybody to go forward. Samiksha's first time cross. Haryana will ping it back. But it is the goalkeeper's ball. She will go down dramatically. And take all the time in the world before getting up and kicking it out. And now there is the long goal kick. Well, she is complaining something. Just another effort to waste some time from Tamil Nadu. The referee won't tolerate it, obviously. Haryana getting bodies forward. Ritu Rani, this has to be her moment. An indirect free kick inside the box. Well, well, well. She will directly go for goal. She's complaining about the defender's positioning right next to her. A very cheap error from Tamil Nadu. Just moments away from glory. But they concede an indirect free kick. Do we have another twist? Ritu Rani, the star Indian centre-back. Will she go for goal? Well, she's letting Renu take this. Steps it forward for Renu. Just goes above. Into the final minute of injury time. This was the best chance for Haryana. Ritu just dragged it back for Renu to go forward. The forward overpowering it. And Devi 
needs some treatment. Just one minute away from full-time whistle. Tamil Nadu's goalkeeper and captain feeling some discomfort. This might be it for Haryana. Well, they have let the title slip. After scoring the opener, they were just a 35 to 40 minute away from having their first ever NFC title. But full credit for Tamil Nadu, the most informed side in the tournament, having conceded only two goals, even including the final, in full swing. They are just getting closer and closer to that moment where they will clinch their second title in the history of the state. We are going deep beyond the 94 allowed. Tamil Nadu have the ball now. They would love to keep it. Do Haryana have another attack? One final attack maybe. One last chance for Haryana to salvage something. The goalkeeper going long herself. But she doesn't time it. We're just moments away from the full-time whistle. Tamil Nadu are running to the corner flag. Now this is just smartness from them. The substitute Nandini who provided the cross for the equalizer. And there goes the full-time whistle. Tamil Nadu clinched the national football championships for the second time in five years a fully deserved victory this will be a moment this will be a red letter moment in the sport for them a victory that will be celebrated from Kanyakumari to Pulikat Lake the girls have done everybody from the state proud what an incredible achievement a juggernaut from the start to the end of the final round Swatting everybody aside in their way. But having to do the hard work in the final. And they duly did it. This is what the champions do. And here we have the champions of the 27th edition of the Hero Senior Women's National Football Championship for you. Tamil Nadu. What a performance this has been. Not their usual one filled with swagger. Having to do it the hard way. Haryana fought till the final whistle. They even scored first in the final. But Tamil Nadu having that champion's mentality launched their first comeback of the tournament and made sure it was a successful one. The party will last all night long in Tamil Nadu's dressing room. The players, everybody is stepping up. And it is poetic that Indumati Kathiration, the star girl, grabs the winner for them from the penalty spot five minutes from time. It is a team effort. Take nothing away from our teammates. Sandhya Ranganathan chipping in with crucial goals. And in midfield, Aishwarya and Kartika bossing the opponents. Lavanya today having the best of her games of the tournament. Completely marking Ray Nurani out of it. You have to feel for Haryana. They have done so well to come this far. They had no right to come this far. But they punched above their weight. Incredible team spirit won the semi-finals on penalties they're just taking blessings from the football ground both the sides what a heartwarming gesture this is both the sides grateful for the opportunity that they have got and displaying their football talents to the world it couldn't get bigger than this on the indian women football occasion the stars have stepped up tamil nadu Ended Manipur's monopoly on the tournament. Well, in fact, it was Haryana who knocked out the three-time defending champions in the group stages itself. But it will be a new champion's name that is going to be etched on the trophy after three long years. The entire state of Tamil Nadu will be rejoicing because their girls have done them proud. So many players putting in some inspirational displays. This will certainly get them a long way in their career.
perfect chance to springboard into the Indian national team. And there we have the traditional Punjabi performances coming to you from Amritsar as the preparations go on for the trophy presentation ceremony. But spare a thought for Haryana. They have fought so hard to get their first ever NFC title. Having done the hard work, they will leave the ground with empty hands. But they will be back next time. This is the spirit. This is the spirit of the beautiful game, isn't it? Tamil Nadu going across to congratulate their Haryani colleagues. This is just beautiful. All the players raising in unison. Lifting their spirits up. There will be another chance. And Haryana will take the positives from this tournament and come back strongly. But for now, the spotlight remains firmly on Tamil Nadu. Well, even at the full-time whistle, the position stats stayed intact. A tightly knit competition. But Tamil Nadu in the second half have showed a bit of the champion's mentality, pinning Haryana back in their own half, hitting them again and again, asking the questions. It was Aishwarya's slide rule pass that won a penalty as Indumati was hacked down by Parmila and she duly converted it from the 12 yards. Even before that, it was an own goal from Tamil Nadu itself that was cancelled out by an equalizer from a corner. The tempers flared late on, Haryana committing a lot of rash fouls. Well, at the full time, Vizal it reads Tamil Nadu 2, Haryana 1. It was an own goal from Durga that gave Haryana the lead. But Priyadarshini scoring a superb equalizer and then laying off the ball for Indumati to win the penalty, which the star forward duly converted. It is Tamil Nadu who will be lifting the NFC trophy after five years again. Join us shortly for the presentation ceremony. Well, well, the party just gets started. Tamil Nadu players involved in the Bhangra dance. They are bringing their own flair to it, aren't they? Enjoying in a huddle. The scenes you would love to see. Heartwarming. They have done the hard work. Throughout the 20 days. They have, they have done the practice. N number of times. 
getting early to the venues, playing in the incessant heat and rain alike. They deserve every bit of this success of a long tournament, seven games and the determination to win all seven of them, five in the groups without conceding a single goal and only conceding two in the semis and finals together. A hundred percent win goal. Look at the coach joining in on the celebrations. The party won't stop now, surely. All the players involved. Well, they are champions of the country in football. Now they want to try their hands and feet in dance, don't they? Well, I'm certain they're much better at football than they are at dancing. But credit to them for trying it. They won't let a bit of tiredness hit them. After playing 650 minutes of football, they still have the strength and energy to get on the pitch and dance. But we will let you enjoy the proper dance celebrations from the professionals.
And now we are just moments away from the presentation ceremony. The Tamil Nadu players are going to get their flowers and respects and even the gold medal shortly. Just join us. Now there is that beautiful trophy, the trophy for which all the sides fought till the last moment and only Tamil Nadu are lucky enough to get their hands on it. And now the cracking performance comes to an end. The dignitaries making their way onto the stage. They're just moments away from the presentation now.
हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन व्हाट अ फैंटास्टिक कंपटीशन दिस हैज बीन एंड वी वेलकम ऑल द पीपल प्रेजेंट हियर एट द गुरु नानक सिंह अमृतसर the players making their way eagerly to collect their honors mind you the last idol was 5 years ago many players from that team and present here and this is the first time that they are tasting the success now their team dignitaries making their way onto the dais to hand out the medals and the trophy to the players the refereeing team getting the recognition and medals they have let the game run smoothly yes the tempers flared in the dying moments but you can always understand the emotion of the game
they are part of the reason why the tournament has been a successful one with focus solely being put on football and nothing else on the pitch now we have our runner ups they did so well throughout the tournament but unfortunately only one team can end up as the winners and on this occasion it was fine margins that denied haryana their first ever national football championships here comes the captain ritu rani leading aside from the back the star indian center back a rock at the back scoring so many crucial goals as well her side have outdone themselves next year they will surely be back shreya huda what a superstar making a hat trick of saves in the semi final in the shootout count on them to come back stronger and who knows even lift the trophy in the next season they can be proud of the effort they put this year is not theirs but next year they might surely get it the coaching staff indu sharma head coach making the crucial changes the substitutions paying off and the backroom support staff doing their home coach the opponents counting devising the the team as well the players fit the physios everybody play a key role it's making it this far it is a single effort and now here we have them champions the title winners the second time title winners of hero 27 senior women's national football championship for the 22 23 season up steps the captain devi to receive her winners medal followed by our teammates what a tournament this has been for tamil nadu from start to the end they have set their foot on another level so many players contributing to the team's cause the forwards the midfielders the defenders and the goalkeeper and even during today's game we have seen how vocal they was in getting our instructions gokila constantly barking orders to our team to close down spaces to pass and to dribble she deserves as much credit as the players from the aiff chairman is one of the biggest honors in women's football now their target will be the indian national team next they are forwarded in the eyes of the selectors the woman speaks for them 
they will be certainly taking indian football to the next level the game is growing every day and we are glad we are part of history here is the coach receiving a medal and up steps the captain to receive the title they had their eyes on this so many months and finally it is all theirs the second title in the history of the state the captain devi d receiving the senior women's national football championships from the aff chairman and she joined her teammates they are doing the jiggle aren't they everybody in position at the champions cup card with their gold medals firmly intact and we present you the champions of the senior women football champs for the 22 23 season Tamil Nadu This is a story that will be talked about from Kanyakumari to Pulikat from Eastern Ghats to Western Ghats it should be talked about rightfully so These bunch of girls will serve as an inspiration for thousands of other young girls and boys alike to take up the sport and make the step up to the next level to improve the quality of Indian football and grow the beautiful game the aim is one and the path will certainly be one and this is a genuine thankfulness to the aiff for conducting such a grateful tournament and providing chances for so many up and coming footballers as well as the established ones to let the world see their talents and with this we bring the incredible tournament to a grand closure we will be back for the nfc in the next by that time tamil nadu will be entering as the defending champions what will the next season have in store for us token of appreciation for the punjab football association as well for hosting the tournament so well through all the tough circumstances we have faced battering with rain battering with sunshine but at the end of the day it is only football that shines through everything we have once again proven that we will be back with the nfc stay tuned to the aff channel for more content from the indian football in trying to help us one goal one country one dream till then this is your host signing off